What's going on everyone? I am back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a quick install on my uh, One Step Colder NGK spark plugs. As you can see we got everything set up. I'm going to take off the intercooler piping right here. I already pre-gapped them to around like 0 0.27, 0 0.28 so let's get to it. Okay guys, we just got the piping off. Um, yo, look what I just found. Yo, you really gotta pay attention to your car, bro. Look, this bolt on cylinder three was loose and that explains why I had a random misfire like two weeks ago. Fuck, it was literally like this the whole time. But yeah, I just got the piping off. So if you have a top mount, it's the same thing. You just take off the top mount rather than the intercooler piping. And I really like the freaking um, Ultimate Racing intercooler piping because you can literally just disattach it rather than having just a whole pipe. So next you just have to take off each coil pack. So I'm pretty sure that's just an eight mil each. So uh, let's do that. Okay guys, we just got all four coil packs out. I was just uh, testing out my sockets. So got our extension. We're gonna take out all four. I'll show you guys when I get in a lot. Okay guys, I got all four spark plugs out and as you can see, we got a bit of a problem. Um, there's oil on each one. Cylinder three the wor is the worst. Cylinder four, cylinder four there is basically nothing. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure. It could be like a valve cover gasket, but the problem is like when I did my valve cover, we replaced the gasket like in case that wouldn't happen. So I don't know, maybe the bolts weren't torqued down properly. I'm not sure. Um, I'm like worried, but not too worried at the same time. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the correct sized uh, torque wrench, so I'm gonna have to go to my buddy's house. He'll see if everything's okay. So uh, let's go from there. Sorry, this isn't like an in-depth, in like how to like install your spark plugs. Like I'm kind of just going as I do, you know, like, and especially how I found oil on each spark plug, I was kind of scared. So I kind of didn't really record everything. So um, anyways, let's put all four spark plugs back in there. And uh, let's put the intercooler piping in there and we'll uh, go on from there. All right guys, we just got um, the spark plugs, new spark plugs in, gaps is 0.27, each one in, coil packs in. This bolt actually for the coil pack was uh, giving me a bit of a pain in the ass. Intercooling piping back on. I feel like I should tell you guys what I did in order. So basically what I did first is I gapped the spark plugs to 0.27. I use this right here, okay? Then I took off my intercooler piping, just these three clamp, these two clamps right here, loosen this clamp back here, connect it to the turbo, move that out the way. And then I unscrewed all four, all four coil packs, took them out, popped them out, took all the old spark plugs. And as you can see, we got this monstrosity. Oh, I don't know, man, it's, uh, it's a little sketchy. And then all you literally did, put your new NGKs back in pop them in. I didn't torque them. I just uh, tightened them to like where it wouldn't move anymore. I don't have the correct size torque wrench for that. And then all you literally do is you just put the four coal packs back in, screw them in, and then put the intercooler piping back in. I know some people say like the feeler gauge or whatever you want to call it is better, but I don't know. I just had it right here. I'll order one eventually, but that's what I did. Okay guys, car started up just fine. Uh, I'm going to give it a test drive test for any like boost leaks see how the car is running with the new spark plugs i actually bent a fucking bolt on this this cylinder one bolt right here is bent like there's a bit of bit there's a bit of play so i don't know i'm definitely gonna have to replace it at some point but ah uh, let's go for a test drive All right, guys, it's currently the next day. I just finished work. Also, guys, funny story. Um, so you know how, like, in one clip, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go take it for a test drive. Yeah, so that was an epic fail. So basically, 
I took it out for a drive. I went on the highway, you know, made sure it was clear. And then I was like, all right, I'm going to go for a pull. Check for any boost leaks. I fucking, I'm in third gear. I romp on it. All I hear is kaboom. Freaking, I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, what the hell happened? And I'm like, shit, I must have blown like a clamp or like a coupler or something like that. And uh, the result was, uh, was this. I uh, literally snapped the freaking clamp, bro. I tightened it too hard. This was the run around like the turbo. And yeah, bro, I literally like broke it. it Luckily, I had an extra clamp for my uh, stock top mount intercooler. So I definitely was fortunate for that. And then I asked my buddy, he showed me like how like I messed it up and I didn't like tighten it properly at the, at the right location where it should have been. It happens with like intercooler piping. I mean, you're bound to like I mean, unless you're like freaking sick with it, like I'm personally not, shit's gonna blow off. It happens. And as you can see, uh, my car set it up just fine. So I'm gonna roll the clip of how it was in the cold start in the morning. That's a pretty smooth start. So yeah, as with regards to the oil on the spark plugs, I'm not too worried on it. I mean, I've done some research. I mean, my first initial thought was the valve cover gasket and I asked my, a couple of my buddies. They said the same thing. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, maybe I'll try to like retorque it or something like that. Maybe I'll buy a new gasket. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, guys, I'll definitely keep you guys updated in the next coming videos on how the car's running with the spark plugs and whether or not like I fixed the uh, oil issue in the spark plugs. But um, yeah. Anyways, guys, that about wraps up my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, like I always say, make sure to subscribe. We've got a lot more Mazda Speed car content to come. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.